okay so um in two days past interference is gonna go live and i wanted to give my pre-release thoughts but um i am battling a massive sinus headache that i have been struggling with for several days now so this might be kind of short um and forgive me if my energy is a little bit low um I'm excited though. I'm I'm honestly excited for you guys to read this book. Um, it feels it feels like it's been forever because the book has been finished for weeks. And typically, when I finish a book, it goes through the editing process. <clears throat> Excuse me. It goes through the editing process, and then it's on to you know it's on to you guys. I'm even publish on it, but because of the way that the release dates were set up for you know for this particular project since this was a collaboration you gotta you know this is part of it's part of collaborating you gotta you gotta be a team player and so i couldn't just drop the book <laughs> just because i was ready just because i was ready for it and honestly it didn't get edited until this week anyway because i purposely you know took some time away to step away from it so that in doing my final read through with it um I had some distance from it, um, which I discovered, which is something that it's like people always tell you that. Um, I don't think it really did anything different for me, you know, to take time away from it. Um, I feel like it's a good project. I feel like it's a good book. Um, I, didn't, I actually didn't write the epilogue until this week either. Like I knew that it was coming. I knew that I knew that there was going to be like another little piece needed because the actual story or what I felt was the actually story was the actual story doesn't really take you all the way through the end of the season and so it was kind of like well we can't just leave it you know without telling what happened in the season and so the epilogue kind of wraps that kind of wraps that part up and I didn't I didn't write that until this week um I, I still haven't written a blurb for this book which I guess I'm gonna do today but um if you've already read um, Love's an Eligible Receiver, you've kind of gotten a little bit of Sloan, um, Sloan Brooks. I'm writing my heroine for this project, this Coach Brooks, um, and the hero is Nate, who is Cole's twin brother. Um, if you read Love on the Highlight Reel, so you, you've met both of them. Um, if you've read both of those books, Love's an Eligible Receiver by Love Belvin, which just came out this past Friday, and then Love on the Highlight Reel, which was uh, book two. Yeah, book two in the series, um, and it was it was my first book in the series. Um, Coach Brooks is <laughs> I like her a lot. Um, I think that you guys are gonna like her. Um, she got good uh, she got good feedback uh, mostly from my betas. Um, there was some frustration there, which was you know. Uh, I waffle back and forth over whether or not I feel like it was warranted, but my characters are my babies and, you know, so I'm always kind of on, quote unquote, on their side, but um, they were a really, really fun couple to write. Um, this story is not originally what my Connecticut King story was supposed to be. Um, I had a story partially developed, well, not, I had a little bit of something um for what this book was going to be but it pretty heavily involved police brutality and when it came time to when it came time to start writing I didn't want I didn't want to write that I just I was I was and still am exhausted with that I did not want to write that and so I was just going over and over in my head going over and over to my friends oh my god you know I need a storyline for this I have no idea what I'm going to do because the entire time like from when we decided, yes, we're going to do another round of Connecticut Kings, this was what my storyline had been. And so it had been marinating like for months. And then I decided that I didn't want to do it. And so that's months of marinating, <laughs> just kind of down the tubes. But um, I was... <laughs> <laughs> I was I was pretty I don't want to say I was lost but I was even though I don't want to say it I was pretty lost and um I was talking to Nicole Nicole Falls and she said to me I can't remember what sparked it I can't remember what sparked it but she was like you know what you should write a female coach 
and I was like, oh girl, please bye. You know, I really didn't, I really didn't think too much of it. And it wasn't that I thought it was a bad idea. It was that that was just so much like female coaches in the NFL are not, you know, it's not common. <laughs> like it's just like it's 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 not uh it's not impossible. There are definitely female coaches in the NFL. Um but it's still so new that there's like there it's like there's no precedent for me to refer to. But then I started I looked it up a little bit. Yeah, like after she said that, I looked it up a little bit. And after I looked it up a little bit, I ran it by love and she was like, oh, you know, I actually think that's a really good idea and I can fit her in here and I can fit her in here. And I was just like, man, I was really hoping you were going to shoot that down because I have no idea how I'm going to research for this. I have no idea, you know, what I'm going to do. But the more I sat with it, the more it really kind of bloomed and blossomed and the more it took life. And I want to say maybe an hour or two after Nicole said that to me, like I had it down. Um, and I don't want to say too much because I don't want to give spoilers, but, um, Sloan is, Sloan is, Sloan is a bad chick. She's a really, she, she's a bad chick. And if I were not, <laughs> if I were not what I am now, by the time I grew up, I would want to be Sloan, Sloan is definitely the kind of woman that I would want to be. Um, she's very, she's very smart. She's very focused. She's very driven. She's very, um, I'm trying to think of words that I can use without it being spoiler. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave that there leave it at, um, I think that Sloan is, uh, I think that Sloan is a character is probably one of my favorite heroines that I've written. And Nate, um, I got a lot. Um, Nate, <laughs> Nate got a bad rap, even for me. Like, because, you know, when we see Nate in Love on the Highlight Reel, we just kind of see him being Cole's jerky brother. And that's all that we, he didn't really get a lot of development. That's all we saw from him. Like, that was, that was who he was. Um, and so in diving into, like, getting into him, as a hero and getting, you know, getting into his head, kind of diving into like who he is and what he wants out of life and all those different things. It was really, really interesting. And Nate is actually like, Nate, Nate is, Nate is bad. Nate is really, really bad. <laughs> and you'll see more of, of that when you read. But, um, overall, I'm really happy with this project. Um, I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of far removed from it, like I said, because it's been a couple of weeks since I finished the book. And so and my brain, like I'm already writing the next thing. And so my brain, I'm, I've already kind of mentally moved on a little bit just in terms of not being quite so sensitive. I really I really don't want to use that word, but it's the truth um, <laughs> in terms of not being so sensitive about them. But um I'm, I'm really excited for you guys to read this project. It's very different, I feel like, from the other two books um, in a good way. It's very different in, in my other two books from the series is, is, is what I'm saying. Um, or is it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, which is probably which probably makes it a good time to stop. <laughs> but um, anyway book is going to be uh, released soon. I, it has not been published yet. I'm not hitting, it's, today is Wednesday, so it's nowhere near being published, but um, it will be soon, and I'm excited for you guys to read it. Um, if you enjoy it, please consider leaving a review. Um, I know Amazon has been really, like, on some weird stuff, so I'm, I don't even feel right. Well, I mean, I, I want you guys to leave reviews, <laughs> but I understand that how Amazon has been kind of being weird with it lately but um even if you don't leave a review you can let me know you can leave me a comment um you can inbox me all of that i'm welcome and open to all of that but um yeah that's pretty much it thank you for listening and enjoy the book